Welcome. Today is Saturday of the third week in Advent. Our presider is Father Bill. He who is to come will come and will not delay. And now there will be no fear within our land, for he is our Savior. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We take a moment and we ask the Lord for continued forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Now may God have mercy on us, forgive us all of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the childbearing of the Holy Virgin graciously revealed the radiance of your glory to the world, grant, we pray, that we may venerate with integrity of faith the mystery of so wondrous an incarnation and always celebrate it with due reverence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Judges. There was a certain man from Zorah of the clan of the Danites whose name was Manoah. His wife was barren and had no and had borne no children. An angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Though you are barren, and have had no children, yet you will conceive and bear a son. Now then, be careful to take no wine or strong drink and to eat nothing unclean. As for the son you will conceive and bear, no razor shall touch his head, for this boy is to be consecrated to God from the womb. It is he who will begin the deliverance of Israel from the power of the Philistines. The woman went and told her husband, A man of God came to me. He had the appearance of an angel of God, terrible indeed. I did not ask him where he came from, his name. But he said to me, you will be with child and will bear a son. So take neither wine nor strong drink and eat nothing unclean. For the boy shall be consecrated to God from the womb until the day of his death. The boy grew up and the Lord blessed him. The Spirit of the Lord stirred him. The Word of the Lord. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. 
My mouth, My mouth shall, shall be filled, filled with, with your, your praise, praise and, and I will sing your glory. glory. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety, for you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. My, my mouth shall, shall be, be filled, filled with, with your, your praise, praise and, and I, I will sing your glory. glory. For you are my hope, O oh Lord, my trust, O oh God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. My, my mouth, mouth shall, shall be filled, filled with, with your, your praise, praise and, and I will, I will sing, sing your glory. glory. I will treat of the mighty works of the Lord. O oh God, I will tell of your singular justice. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth until the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. My, My mouth shall, shall be filled, filled with, with your, your praise, praise and, and I, I will sing, sing your glory. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O root of Jesse's stem, sign of God's love for all his people, Come to save us without delay. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. In the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah of the priestly division of Abijah. His wife was from the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Both were righteous in the eyes of God, observing all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blamelessly. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren and both were advanced in years. Once when he was serving as priest in his divisions turned before God, according to the practice of the priestly service, he was chosen by lot to enter the sanctuary of the Lord to burn incense. Then when the whole assembly of the people was praying outside at the hour of the incense offering, the angel of the Lord appeared to him standing at the right of the altar of incense. Zechariah was troubled by what he saw and fear came upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall name him John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He will drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even from his mother's womb, and he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of fathers toward children and the disobedient to the understanding of the righteous to prepare a people fit for the Lord. Then Zechariah said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is advanced in years. And the angel said to him in reply, I am Gabriel, who stand before God. I was sent to speak to you and to announce to you this good news. But now you will be speechless and unable to talk until the day these things take place, because you will not believe my words, which will be fulfilled at their proper time. 
Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and were amazed that he stayed so long in the sanctuary. But when he came out, he was unable to speak to them, and they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He was gesturing to them but remained mute. Then when his days of ministry were completed, he went home. After this time, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she went into seclusion for five months, saying, So has the Lord done for me at a time when he has seen fit to take away my disgrace before others. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Some say no news is good news, and that rings pretty true. News often seems to be bad by definition. War, tragedy, famine, crime, these are the stuff of the headlines and the tweets. And when the phone rings in the middle of the night, we leap for fear. But today's readings are good news. And at least one person in the gospel finds it hard to handle. Zechariah just couldn't bring himself to believe it. He's so busy explaining why this good news can't be true that it seems like God loses patience with him. And it's sort of like the angel messenger says, you've got to stop arguing. Just be still for a few months. I don't want to hear another word from you until you're ready to shout the good news yourself. Fortunately for us, God doesn't grow that impatient very often. We don't need to wait for God to strike us dumb to find out how good news could change our corner of the world. The good news is that God seems and sees wonderful possibilities in every human being and in every human situation. The good news is that God loves the world enough to dwell in it and to draw us close, even at this altar, so that all the news you share today be good. Let us pray that God's people may prepare themselves to receive the promised one. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That coming of Christ may sanctify the rulers of the earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That those burdened by grief or sorrow may know joy and gladness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus, especially Gabby Short, Catherine Martin, mother of Katie Duncan, Gerald Rippa, Mike Whaley, Neil Devlin. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Jim Pascal, Kazuki Watanabe, Karen Martin, 
Maria Murillo, Eric Majovic, Maria Alzon Alonzo, Sagrario Garcia, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, we ask you to hear all of our prayers and grant these good things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise, for the praise and glory of his, his name, name, for our good, good and the good of all his, his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we lay upon your altar, so that what we bring despite our weakness, may be sanctified by your power through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. And we do this through Christ. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice as the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so we join with all the angels and saints as we join in the hymn of your glory, as without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord 
Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Save us Savior of the world. Of the world. For by, For your, by cross your cross and resurrection, resurrection you, you have, have set, set us, us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be, be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of his church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, uh, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we, called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you that should you enter, enter under my roof, but only, but only say the word, the word and my and soul, soul shall be healed. Amen. The dawn from on high will visit us, guiding our feet in the way of peace. Blood of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. As we give thanks, Almighty God, for these gifts you have bestowed graciously, arouse in us, we pray, the desire for those yet to come, that we may welcome the nativity of your Son and honor it with minds made pure. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May God continue to bless all of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.